Nikki, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be fixing up this hair of mine. I, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my slick down ponytail with my stubborn curly hair. Now when I say stubborn, I mean I got curls that like to just pop out of the blue for some reason when I want to slick my hair down and I'm going to show you guys how I've kind of mastered it in my own way on how to get those you know curls and that sticking out hair to just lay down and cooperate so if you guys want to see that routine then please keep watching first I'm going to brush my hair now um of course I did wash my hair I washed my hair last night so it was completely dry um, so I decided to wet it and this is the key is this brush or a brush similar similar to this and wetting my hair has helped me tremendously in slicking down my hair so that is kind of like one of the biggest changes I think that I've made to this routine was making sure that my hair was wet and then brushing it down while it's wet because as you can see as I'm brushing it down it's not only going in the direction that I want it to but it's staying down pretty sleek already obviously if I were to keep it like this is gonna poof up but right now we're looking pretty sleek so I just kind of brush my hair in the direction that I really know that I want it to go. I already start my part, but of course this isn't the final part. I will be doing a middle part today. To ensure that my middle part is, you know, straight, I use my comb. I like the comb that kind of goes from smaller bristles to bigger ones. And I'm going to just kind of, you know, fix the part like so to make sure that when you look at me kind of head on I'm like you know my middle part is like right here I also take the same comb and brush through my hair to make sure there are no knots. So boom, hair looks like this. Gonna brush it again, pushing it back. I'm gonna take that same comb, the same small side, and I'm gonna take out some curls because I like to have curls out just on the side, chilling, being really cute. So I'm gonna take those out to separate them from the hair that I'm pushing back to make sure that they're out here and they're doing the damn thing. First, I'm going to go in with my Eco Styler Gel. This is the olive oil one. I really do like this one. I also really like the argan oil one. So pick your flavor your scent pick your oil but I really like this one and I got the big jar so of course so I'm gonna take a little bit of that I'm not taking too much and rubbing it and that's gonna be the start of me slicking down my hair now I do like this gel but I feel like I can use it for multiple purposes I can use it for not only like slicking down my hair, but also sometimes if I want to define some curls. So it's all in what style you want to do. But obviously today we are slicking down. I'm going to take my flat brush. This is literally from Dollar Tree and it's been my girl ever since I got her. I actually think I showed it in a Dollar Tree haul that I did a few months ago. I really do like it. And I'm starting to slick the hair back so that everything is laying flat and going in the direction that I want it to. Making sure that the curls that I want on the sides are staying here. And just, I'm gonna take a little bit more, just a tad, and do the same. Making sure I also like to kind of put it in a ponytail as I'm, you know, pushing all the hair back so I know how it's going to look. I get an idea of how it's going to look and how the ponytail may look a little bit. Now, my hair is short, so obviously it's not going to be crazy. I could either put it into a small little bun in the back or I just like to have the, like, few curls hang loose and be just cute out there. Next, I'm going to go into my got-to-be-glued styling 
spiking glue. This girl is water resistant, okay? It's for, it has screaming hold, all right? This is, this is the girl that everyone uses. So it's like about this much, rub it in and go right on top. This is what really helps me throughout the day because my hair can tend to get frizzy, but this is exactly what helps me throughout the day, whether I'm at work or if I'm going somewhere. This is what helps my hair really stay. I'm gonna take a little bit more and that's it because I don't wanna like have too much buildup in my hair, but this is what really helps this style stay for me. And I used to just use that, but I really saw that using the Eco Styler first and then this has really helped me. I'm gonna brush the hair back with the flat brush. Making sure everything is good and flat. And now I'm going to make it into a ponytail. So I'm just gonna take the ponytail on my wrist. And make it into a cute little ponytail. I could definitely use a little rubber band, but I just feel like I have just more hold when it comes to this, I don't know. I may change, who knows? But this is what it's looking like. This is the back. You guys can see it, she's slick. Extremely slick, thank you God, because we have the baby hairs out. Sometimes I'll see pieces that I need to brush back. So a trick I like to do for my curls on the side, I like to take the small end of my comb and sometimes twist them. Sometimes I get product in them and it tends to straighten them out. But I like to twist them a little bit and just make their curl more precise. So now I'm gonna do my edges. So I'm going to take the Eco Styler Gel once again. I'm gonna take my edge brush. I got this from Amazon. I also found one kind of similar at Dollar Tree. So you guys choose which one you want to do. I think this one's $1.99 or $2.99. This one's a dollar. So you guys choose. But even after using this one, I still do prefer this one that I did get from Amazon. So I can link it down below. And I like to take whatever residue I have on the lid of my gel. Just because I don't need anything crazy. And... I'm just going to start swooping a bit. I really like um, when I do my edges when it comes to this look. I just think it looks so clean and pretty. Sometimes I'll also just run the gel through the curl to make sure that the hold is there. Even though the curl is going to stay, but... Yeah, so I take some more from the top because you really don't need a lot to. And I just kind of do it. Boom! We've got some edges, we got a slick ponytail, and you're good. No. I really love teasing these hairs. I think that I just think they're so cute on the side. Um, but yeah. So that was quick, that was easy. And now to make sure we lock it all in and that everything is good. I am going to take my Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. This is that girl. This will hold you down, sweetie, okay? So I'm gonna spray this all over my hair. Hold your breath, you don't wanna be inhaling this, like, oh my God, but. Okay, so we just sprayed our hair with our Got To Be Spray, which is the girl, like she will legit she will hold you down and i'm now going to just take this scarf it's like a satin scarf and i'm going to just wrap everything and let it sit while i do my makeup this is my routine and this really ensures the hold and just the placement of my hair especially you know if i see any loose curls when i do this i it just helps me you know 
slick everything down. So I'm gonna go do my makeup, film another video, you know, two for one. I'm gonna go do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all the final results after this is dried. So I kind of keep it on as long as I'm doing my makeup. So let's say that's anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes at the most. So that's my recommended time of sit and hold and just setting. So I'll be back once I'm done with my makeup to show you guys the final look. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. I did film this look, so if you guys want to see the video, I will have it at the end of this video in a card and down below because come watch me, come join this family. But okay, so it's been literally over 30 minutes. So I'm going to unwrap my scarf nice and slow because I don't want to ruin anything and boom boom I'm gonna show you guys like my head <laughs> what a weird sentence okay I think it looks so good you know sometimes I do have um, pieces of hair that are shorter so sometimes I do have um, little hairs that come out but today that didn't happen thank you God and I normally just kind of fix those with bobby pins not too many bobby pins but just the right amount um, that I need but my hair is looking snatched this is the routine that I've been using I've actually just started incorporating the eco styler the other day and I think that made a big difference in regards to flyaways and any hairs that want to act stubborn I think that made a really big difference up with that so yeah th I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you guys because I was struggling okay I was struggling I was like how am I gonna get my hair to be slick because the little hairs want to just come out I just want to come out to party but I finally found a really good routine so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you guys um don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and leave any suggestions of videos that you guys would want to see down below and I will see you guys in the next one bye